Welcome back to our video series detailing how to draw different parts of the face. So today we're going to focus on how to draw the mouth or more specifically the lips. And one of the things you're going to notice right away when looking at this picture here is that everybody has completely different lips and the lips have a top lip and a bottom lip, so two separate parts. And I want you to notice how each one of these has a different thickness of top and bottom lips. So um, each of us are unique and beautiful just the way that we are. So today I'm gonna make up some lips as I draw, but I'm gonna use these as inspiration or as a reference. You can feel free to draw lips that make sense to you, but they do not have to match the lips that I'm making today. So let's get started. So let's talk about some of the ways that people might draw a mouth if they're drawing a cartoon. So if you're drawing a cartoon, I'll do my little cartoon eyes and that's a little bump nose and um, we'll do a popcorn nose here. We talked about those yesterday. Um, so these are some cartoon faces without lips and um, when you're drawing a cartoon, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you don't, not all artwork should be realistic, but this week we're gonna focus on drawing realistically. Um, but a lot of people when drawing a mouth in a cartoon version will simply just do one line. But really, if we look at lips, we have a top lip and a bottom lip. And so it's actually three lines put together. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Some people will do what I call worm lips. When I tell them to have a top lip and a bottom lip, they'll do this. <laughs> which kind of makes me laugh a little bit, which is kind of cute. Um, if you've ever seen Wallace and Gromit, all the characters in Wallace and Gromit have worm lips. Um, or sometimes people do lips like this which is a little bit more specific, which is pretty cute too, um, but not quite realistic. So if we want, if our goal is to make realistic lips, let's take a look. So I mentioned before that lips have three lines. So everybody knows the line in the middle, right? This line where your lips meet together. And notice that on most of these, this line is pretty wiggly. It has a little wiggle right here in the middle. And this line is kind of like coming up a little bit on the side. Now this person's lips are pretty flat. That, okay um, and these persons kind of like come down a little bit on the corners so we want to make sure that that middle line of our lips is a little bit wiggly so we wouldn't want to draw on the middle line in between our lips like that because that's not quite realistic so on some real lips you have kind of this um, let's see if I can do this side by side this part here that comes down just a little bit and then we'll notice that it comes up a little bit so here's my line for the middle of the lips. This is where the front, the top lip and the bottom lip meet, okay? If the mouth opened, this is the part that opens, okay? Now I'm gonna do the top line of the lips here, and we'll notice that this is curvy too. Nobody wants to have worm lips, so make sure your lips are curvy and realistic. Nobody's lips are straight all the way across. So there's lots of different shapes on how, um, what happens right here on this middle part here. Lots of variety. Some of them are more heart shaped, and some of them are um, super smooth, rolling like a roller coaster here. And um, some of them have more of a V shape. So we've got heart shape, V shape, and smooth hill shape. I'm gonna do a smooth hill shape on mine, but again, there's no uh, right or wrong way to do this. Everybody is unique and different. So the thickest part on this top lip here, I'm doing my top lip, the thickest part on the top lip is in the middle here. And then as it goes to the corner of the mouth, we have, it gets thinner. So now I've got my top lip on here. Now I'm ready to draw my bottom lip. And as mentioned before, wow, there's such a variety of lips. So you'll notice that some people's bottom lip comes down and it's um, pretty even on both sides. Some people's lip kind of pinches in right here at the bottom and gets a little bit skinnier and the thickest part of the lips are on um, the sides here and here. And, um, oops. And some people's lips um, are a little bit more um, angular, so this person's lips come down really fast and then go right back up, very V-shaped here. So everybody's lips are a little bit different. I'm gonna kind of make up, I'm gonna make these ones like this.
right, so now I have my top and bottom lip drawn, the outlines of it, and now I'm ready to shade it in. And usually when we look at lips, if we look at this pair of lips right here, a lot of times what you'll notice is that the top lip is actually darker than the bottom lip. Now naturally the skin color here might be a little bit darker on the top lip, but also the top lip is in shadow. So the bottom lip usually sticks out a little bit farther and catches the light like this highlight we see here. And um, the top lip is in shadow because it's like a little shelf. So I'm gonna shade my top lip darker and my, um, my bottom lip light. shaded my top lip darker and my bottom lip a little bit lighter and since nobody's skin is white like a piece of paper I went ahead and shaded a little bit skin around my mouth here so that it doesn't look like it's just some lips floating in outer space so again we'll notice that the top lip is darker the bottom lip is lighter and that you know we want to shade some skin around it but now we're gonna look at the top and bottom lip and really see where we can add more shading so I noticed that this corner here is a little bit darker and this corner here is a little bit darker I also noticed that the darkest part of the lip is where the two lips meet so we might have some shading on the sides of the top lip and also down to this edge right here so I want my lips to look 3d so I'm gonna shade a little bit darker as they go to the edges. take a look at these lips you'll also see that the bottom lip gets darker as it gets closer to the corner so the lightest part is here we might use our eraser to erase out our highlight and then make it a little bit darker on the sides and then maybe get a little bit darker as it gets closer to the middle line where the lips come together are attached to the face so it's really important to shade around them so you might notice that people have this little dip right here in their skin where you might grow a mustache and a lot of times that's catching the light in different ways on this one we've got a little dark shadow here with a highlight along this little heart-shaped bump and I'm also going to include um, darker shading underneath the lip because the lip is casting a shadow it's sticking out and this area underneath is in shadow and also this area where your smile kind of presses in on the corners is going to create a darker area there too. So now I'm going to shade the area around the skin. Thank you. 
last thing we're gonna do is maybe add a little bit of texture to our lips. So we'll notice that our lips aren't like the rest of the skin on our face. They're a little bit different because we have lots of little lines and creases because our lips are so flexible. So we're gonna add some lines just lightly. They're not super dark and we might even see that those creases have some highlight. So you can see that I used really light lines just to add a little bit of these little lines here. I don't want them to be super dark. I wouldn't want my lines to look like they have stripes on them necessarily, but we do want some texture here. You might have also noticed that I used my eraser again today as a drawing tool, not necessarily for mistakes, but to define areas of light. So I used the tip of my eraser here to erase out some of these little crease lines on the top lips and to create some highlights on the bottom. So I hope you're proud of your lip drawing that you did today and each day your drawing skills are getting stronger and I'm so proud of all of the work you've been posting online and it's really inspiring to see all of your hard work. So I hope you guys have fun and I'll see you later. Bye guys.